Okay, it's our Facts of Mars. This is a follow-up to uh, what happened in New York City. A uh, suspect carrying a crudely assembled improvised bomb, otherwise known as IED, is in custody following a blast in the underground walkway between the Hines Square and Port Authority bus terminal Monday morning. The blast happened around 7.20 a.m. during Monday morning rush hour. Three other people suffered minor injuries and are not considered life-threatening. The other three transported themselves to area hospitals with symptoms like tinnitus ringing in the ears, officials said. The suspect has been identified as a Kayed Eula who was wearing an improvised explosive device. Eula is from Bangladesh and had been living in Brooklyn. He was injured when the device apparently went off prematurely and was rushed to Bellevue Hospital with non life threatening injuries. He suffered burns to his hands and other lacerations. Anyone with any information about Eula is asked to call authorities at 1 888 New York City State. The device was fixed to his body with Velcro and zip ties, according to O'Neill. EMS removed perpetrator from Bellevue Hospital. People, people in proximity to the explosion removed themselves, all having minor injuries consistent with being in the area of an explosion. Commissioner Negro gives update on explosion at Port Authority. That's N-I-G-R-O, not the other one. The second device was found on the suspect. Police said Port Authority police officer Jack Collins said the suspect held the suspect at gunpoint and assisted by officers Sean Gallagher, Drew Preston, and Anthony and Fred Dino. Dino. Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. So there you have it. Uh, this apparently was uh, ISIS inspired. Of are saying it's a lone wolf and all this. In this case, it might actually be. I don't know. Anyway, that's your uh, Tyranny Watch News update on the situation in New York City. No serious problems other than snap food everything. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.